Hey guys, today I'll be doing a install, quick review, and an unboxing of this Carpuride uh, car radio. Uh, now this isn't your standard car radio that you will have to uh, replace your factory radio with. Uh, this is a standalone unit, uh, so you can mount this on top of your dash uh, with the hardware included or a uh, section cup mount on your windshield which is also included with this unit. Uh, this unit does Apple CarPlay and uh, Android Auto. Uh, so you can connect your uh, your smartphone to it and be able to use navigation. Uh, it also has, has Bluetooth, has a built-in speaker, uh, has a built-in FM transmitter, and I'll explain more why that's uh, important later. Uh, it has a SD uh, card slot, uh, USB input as well, review camera, and a built-in uh, uh, speaker for it. Uh, so more of the unit. As you can see there again, it has the phone link. The FM transmitter, and explain that more later. It has an HD uh, IPS screen on it, the SD card slot, a USB input as well, auxiliary output, uh, voice control uh, through a microphone, whether that you use the existing one on the unit or an external one, and of course, you can use a review camera on it. Uh, so that's the unit here. Uh, this, is a this is the 9 inch version of it. Uh, so we'll unbox it and then we'll head. So let's open this up. First thing you're gonna see is the unit itself at top. The one I have here is a nine inch, so it's got a good decent weight to it. We'll set this to the side for now. Let's take this packing out. This out of the way. The only thing you'll receive again is a dash mounting uh, hardware here. So this would mount to your uh, to your dash, and then the unit would mount onto here, and then the, that's how it, the unit would sit up on your dash. Then for power, this one has the cigarette lighter adapter. So obviously it goes to your cigarette lighter and then it goes to USB-C and this is what will power the unit for audio and again you have a few different options to include a um, auxiliary uh, cable male to male the other mounting option is uh, using the suction cup so this is the suction cup you can uh, adjust it as needed okay. You can also extend this little arm in and out, depending on your mounting position. And of course, you can uh, also uh, be able to adjust the, the angle of it, up or down and sideways. That's that. Uh, and you can also put a camera on it, a backup camera, or a front view camera for that matter. Uh, so for the camera, there's two harnesses, there's the video. One plugs right to the back of the monitor. So it goes to the camera, and then of course the, uh, the camera itself with the power wire, and then the, the small camera here with the video and power inputs. So that's all the, uh, what it includes, uh, of course it obviously includes the, the manual for it, so it will walk you how, to, uh, how everything works, all the options, uh, how to plug it in, uh, and everything on the back of the unit there. So, uh, when you get yours, you can go through it. Uh, so now, oh, as well, a little pad here, mounting pad for the suction cup as well, uh, depending where you place it. So now for the unit itself, let's open this one up. This one does have a built-in uh, speaker on it. So if you do use that for the audio, uh, you can. The unit nice, nice and wide. I believe that's a uh, four inch, five inch uh, width of it, but lengthwise it's a uh, nine. Uh, it does come with a screen protector, but I'll leave it on for now. Turning it over top side, it's your power button. This is the mounting where the, the suction cup or the um, dash mount will go in. So you put it in here, 
lock it into place and you should be good to go. On the side here, there's a USB-C, there's a USB-A for if you want to have music or anything else, media uh, playing for that matter. Uh, that's the auxiliary input or output I should say. There's the camera input. There is an SD card slot for it as well. So again, media, videos, anything you want to put on there. Uh, expand, expanded memory uh, is a possibility as well. And then there is a mic as well. So if you want to do an external mic, uh, so you can run up, up into your dash, you can as well. But there should be a mic built into it here, I believe. That's, that should be your mic right here, if you can see that. Uh, but it gives you the option for that as well. Uh, the other side is nothing there and it does the built-in speaker on it. So. Alright, so now we're in my vehicle. So two things you gotta do uh, prior to uh, booting up the unit is if you have uh, factory uh, Bluetooth, make sure to disconnect uh, your phone from that. You can you cannot send two uh, or uh, a signal to two different units. Uh, number two is find a radio station that is uh, that is not being used, meaning it's gonna be just static. Uh, so that way you transmit to that uh, to your radio it'll be the best uh, audio signal uh, puzzle. Now that we put in the unit, my uh, Bluetooth is on, I set my time on it. Uh, it does have a e uh, built-in equalizer, so the I left it on flat, uh, however I did turn on the uh, the loud uh, setting to it. So I'll hit the home button, uh, again went to the FM transmit, we got the same stations on both, so now this one is picking up what this one is uh, sending out a signal. So I'll go to my phone and I'll play some music. So what I've done and done is turn my factory radio or this radio all the way down and turn this one up to about 35 is what I have it at, uh, 40, 36, we'll do 35. Uh, so the best thing to do is to turn this one down, turn this one all the way up. So that way you can, if you have steering controls or you can go control it through your um, factory radio, it'll be the easiest way to control than how to sit here and tap this one up and down. So anyways, I'll uh, play some music now. I'll go up on the radio. Of course you can control it through your phone. So I'll pause it. Play it again. So there, that's how the FM uh, transmit works. Okay, so once uh, I uh, enable my um, Android on now, so you can see there, it gives you a pop-up right on the screen, it tells you what your phone is, and you know, select that. And then it should be able to go to your Android Auto. And there is Android Auto up and running. Uh, so there's a screen for it, so you can see on the right hand side it's going to give you the clock and the, and the date. On the far left it's going to give you all your icons and access to everything. So once you have this connected, and let's see if you want to go play music, I'm going to use Amazon Music for mine, it's going to switch you over. And then I'll say I'll go play uh, whatever off of here, and turn this off because I don't want any copyright issues. So then you can be playing your music and you have your maps here. The way to flip, uh, switch them over is on your icons here, you, you know, see the um, the maps icon here, select that one, and it's going to switch it over for you. So now you got the bigger screen for your uh, navigation, and the smaller one on the right side for your music, and this here you can control back and forth and pausing it, and of course you can go and search for, you know, for whatever. So if you go there, then it's not give you directions. I'm not going to turn it on, obviously. Actually, you know what? If I do this, and then I'll turn this one up. And I'll go to this, and it should give me the uh, the voice. Uh, okay, then do that, that, that time. But once you start driving, and you have the volume up on your radio, it'll send the audio signal to your factory radio, so you can listen to the instructions and turn by turn over uh, through your car speakers. Always, like I said, I don't want to turn this on because always I'll, I'll get uh, copyright, you know, issues, issues with the music on here. But otherwise that's how Android Auto works. Uh, and as you can see, 
is completely wireless. My phone is over here and it's connected to it. Um, it will connect automatically to Android Auto as soon as you boot up the unit, which is great. Uh, on the downside is, uh, if you're going to be casting music off of your phone uh, for whatever reason, then you have to disconnect uh, Android Auto or disable it for that, uh, for that matter. But if you have your music on here like Pandora, Amazon Music, um, Spotify, whichever, that you can get the app uh, on Android Auto for, or Opera CarPlay for that matter, that you can listen to your music uh, there uh, directly. Uh, so that's how that one works. So to exit, you hit the little white button, you go hit exit, and you're back on through here. Uh, so yeah, that's how everything works. Uh, so now we know how Android Auto works. It will be the exact same thing for uh, Apple CarPlay. It does have the Auto Link, which I don't have the app for yet. So I'll do that later on and maybe test it out. Uh, AirPlay as well. Uh, so you can connect your phone and be able to cast your phone uh, directly to this unit. Uh, otherwise, that's how the system works. Uh, as you can see, it uh, works great. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll disconnect everything and then I'll have you uh, listen to the uh, built-in speaker. Uh, so if for whatever reason you don't want to connect it to your car speakers uh, or they're not working or something, then you can listen to it through the uh, built-in speaker as well. Uh, and I'll let you uh, listen to how that sounds. Okay, so the last thing we'll be uh, testing out is going to be the uh, built-in speaker. So go to the uh, your Bluetooth here, select music, and it's going to show you, uh, it's not going to give you the wallpaper obviously or uh, what you're playing, but it's going to show you music, and it's going to tell you what the song is. So we'll hit play. you can control it through the through the unit here so you can pause it play and then forward and and backtrack uh, again you know it's it's decent at best but it works so if for whatever reason you know your maybe your radio is not actually working uh, you have a built-in speaker you can use for music and uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and all that kind of good stuff uh, so that's uh that's the unit here uh, it's a great looking unit working great so far I'll test it on the next few days, uh, see how it works on the road. Uh, otherwise, you know, like I said, it's a good unit. Uh, I'll post in the description down below the direct link for this unit and uh, to their store so you can check out anything else they have. Um, so this is a great unit. So again, if you don't, you're not going to spend extra money to replace the entire unit into your car, this is a great, great option. Um, you have an older vehicle. And, and also you can also move it from vehicle to vehicle so you can set this mount for one vehicle and use a suction cup mount for this vehicle just unplug your uh, cigarette lighter and your auxiliary input if you're using that you move over to the next vehicle and you're good to go again uh, so yeah so it's a fantastic unit uh, if you have any questions or comments uh, let me know thanks for watching